Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to learn how to create a beautiful and professional calling app with just a few lines of code and for this we will be using Zigo Cloud UI kit which is one of the best solution out in the market that allows you to use their ready made and feature rich call components in your application now if you are not familiar with Zigo Cloud it is basically a platform that provides you with everything you need to build one on one and group voice and video call apps and the best part is that you can do it with just a few lines of code zigo cloud ui kit includes both the business logic and ui making it super easy to add or remove features by customizing the ui components plus it helps you build chat apps faster and easier than ever before also they have many languages and framework support plus they are also providing 10000 free minutes trial period to their new users which means that you will get 10000 free minutes credit instantly after you sign up which is amazing because you can build and test your apps for free and once you are satisfied then you can become their regular customer and access bunch of other features too so anyways let's dive in and see how we can build a flutter calling app with zigo cloud ui kit and guys you will be amazed at how quickly you can create a beautiful and fully functional calling app so let's get started first of all let's open your browser and navigate to zigocloud.com forward slash ui kits i will also provide the link to sign up for zigo cloud in the description below now here we need to sign up first so just click on the sign up button and just provide your details to sign up to zigo cloud this is very simple just enter your first name last name and company this can be anything after that you can choose your job title from the given choices and finally you need to choose your country and email and after verifying your email you need to set up your account password and once you do that on the next page it might ask for your phone number so just verify your phone number as well so just go through all the steps i have already created my account so i will log in to it and there you can see what it looks like when you log in to your account for the first time so there you just need to create a new project here you have many options so for now just choose voice and video calls and click on next after that it will ask for the name of your project so i will name it to let's say my calling app and just click on start with ui kits option because this is the most recommended way to get started with zigo cloud now it is creating our app and is busy taking out our app id and secret keys which we will be using in our app to connect to zigo cloud once it is done just click on start building your app now here you have many options to integrate zigo cloud voice and video call ui kits with so for now we are interested in flutter so just select flutter and there you can customize your app by turning any of the features on and off for both one on one and group calls of course you will find some of them paid but i recommend using the free ones first and once you are satisfied with those features then after the trial period ends you can purchase the premium version of it as well anyways i will keep everything to default and click on save and start to integrate now here you can see it also generated your app id and app sign keys which we will need later so we are done with the first step now let's proceed further so i hope you have flutter set up on your machine check out my full guide on how to install flutter in windows the link is provided in the i button as well as in the description below so currently i am inside a folder called code with masood and here let's open the command prompt and let's create a new flutter project called my calling app now here it doesn't matter if your name don't matches to the name that you have on your zigo cloud now once it is done let's open our newly created flutter project inside vs code and let's actually test it out to see whether everything is running fine so let's open the terminal inside vs code using control plus backticks and there i have my physical device connected you can use your android emulator as well to check this simply write the command flutter devices and it will show all your connected devices so as my device is connected so i will write the command flutter run to launch the app on my phone and there you go my app has been launched successfully and this is the default app that flutter provides now in order to create our calling app 
let's open main.dart file inside lift folder and this is the starting point of any flutter application and the code inside this file is responsible to create this application that you see so we need to change this in order to create our app so for this i will be using this very nice documentation that i found on internet i will provide the link in the description too so that you can follow along now first things first we need to install a single dependency i will stop the server first and then paste the dependency in the terminal and press enter now it is installing the dependency and once it is done just open your pub spec file to verify the installation after that i will copy paste some code inside main.dart file and replace the current one and don't worry i will explain everything once i am done for now just follow along Let's replace the app ID and app sign keys with our own. Now we are done with the basic setup and what we are done so far is that first of all we are importing math and material widgets from flutter. The math package provides math related functions whereas material.dart is the core flutter library that provides ready made UI widgets for building flutter applications. After that we are also importing zigo cloud package that we just downloaded as it allows us to use zigo cloud pre-built widget inside our app. Every flutter app starts with a main function and here it calls run app which is a widget. It is the entry point of the application. Now this my app widget returns a material app widget with a home page widget as its home page. The home page widget then is a stateless widget that contains a text form field and an elevated button. The text form field is used to enter a call ID and the elevated button is used to start a call by navigating to the call page widget with the entered call ID. The call ID is stored in a final string variable and passed to the call page as well. This call ID here should be unique and people with the same call ID would be able to connect to a call. Moving forward the call page widget is also a stateless widget that initializes the Zigo cloud pre-built call widget with the app ID, app sign, user ID, username and call ID. This is a pre-built widget provided by Zigo cloud. It handles everything for you. The config property of this widget is initialized with a Zigo cloud pre-built call config object. The on only self in room callback function is called to end the call and return to the previous screen. For group calls this could be something else. So what I recommend is that you should create your own application and try to customize it as much as possible. Anytime you get stuck feel free to refer Zigo cloud docs for the solution. Anyways let's continue. Now you can also create separate screens for home page and call pages as well but for now I am not going to do that. Try doing that by your own and trust me guys this is the best way to learn anything. So next we need to configure our android and ios folders. So first of all let's add the following code inside your project app src main android manifest.xml and above the application component. Next you need to create a new folder named as proguardrules.pro in your android app and put this piece of code inside that. Finally for ios configuration you need to add this code inside your project ios runner and info.plist file below the dict element. So now we are done with the basic call app let's test it out. So let's run our app by using flutter run and wait for it to be executed. So there you go the app has been launched and as you can see it has a text field with text id. I can change it to something else but I will leave it as it is. And let's click on the call button. I hope it will run and there you go it is asking for permissions. I will accept the permissions and now I can chat with anyone in real time. It is also showing some options like volume on and off button, stop call option and I can also toggle between front and rear camera plus I can do a voice and video call at the same time. How amazing it is. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and sign up for a free trial period of 10,000 minutes. The link is given in the description as well as in the pin comment down below. If you found any issues make sure to add build context in the Zigo cloud config and inside your app and build.gradle file under default config just change your minimum SDK version to 21 and I hope it will fix the issue. So guys I hope you enjoyed this video. 
feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos related to programming and also if you are interested in react native guide check out this video